Welcome back to NB Media and Content. In today's video, I'm going to take you on a tour of the Ultimate Grand Tourer, the Bentley Continental GT equipped with the W12 engine. And I'm going to talk to you about its options, specifications, take you on a tour through its exterior design, interior features, and then we're going to find out why it's the best GT car you can buy today. So the Bentley Continental GT, it's known to be a bespoke, tailored-made vehicle with supercar performance. And the Bentley Continental GT has been a huge success for the brand since the original one launched in 2003. However, the original one was based on a Volkswagen Phaeton where this has the same underpinnings as a Porsche Panamera. And of course, in this video, I'd like to thank Shidiac Motor Group for allowing me to film their W12 Continental GT listed for sale at their bespoke showroom located in Sydney. Feel free to check them out in the description below, but for now, let's continue on with the tour with their Continental GT. Well, the Bentley Continental GT's main competitor is the Aston Martin DB11. However, you can fit four adults in perfect comfort and you have an endless array of options and the options will go up to more than $100,000. Right down to the metal pedals and the metal bespoke Bentley oil cap. Bentley will also match virtually any color to create a bespoke finish to your vehicle through its Mulliner customization program. Now, moving on with the exterior tour, this particular example is the Mulliner package. So not only you have the chrome grille, you also have extended chrome on the bottom here and on the bottom grille as well. We also have full LED matrix headlights with this beautiful crystal effect that is engraved inside the headlight casing. And moving on to the side of the car, we have these 22 inch two-tone black and chrome wheels with the black Bentley brake calipers. We also have some chrome elements on the side with that 12 badge illustrating that this is the V12 variant. And moving on to this part of the car, we have that unique Bentley bulge, unique to the Continental GT and replicates the original Continental GT from the 1950s. And lastly, we have a dual exhaust system with large tailpipes at the end. Overall, I really like the design of this newest generation Continental GT. Climbing inside the Bentley Continental GT, this is your key. It's got a really nice finish, especially on the sides. Now with the doors, they stay locked in position. The door has a locking mechanism. So the idea is if you're on a hill, you don't want big heavy doors slamming onto your feet. So they lock into place, preventing that accident to happen. And when you do close them, it has a soft close feature that closes the door for you. And lastly, because this is a pillarless coupe with no B pillar, you have seatbelt extensions, making it easier for you to reach your seatbelt. Talking about some of the trims and options you can get with the interior. You can choose any color you want out of the Bentley personalization program, as well as any colored stitching, any wood surround. It's pretty much endless. Now, some of the key highlights of the Continental GT's interior is its attention to detail, right down to the metal finishes on the buttons here and even on the window controls. So you have a leather stitched roof lining, leather on top of the dashboard, a two-tone leather steering wheel. And even the details on the indicators all feels very expensive and bespoke. Even the paddle shifters and the little buttons here where you'll normally find black plastic. Everything you touch feels expensive on this tailor-made interior. This is also equipped with the Mulliner package, so that gives you the diamond quilted leather on the chairs and on the door surroundings here. And it looks very classical and elegant. However, if you think the interior is a little bit too classical, once you push this engine start stop button, the screen rotates. Now, if I push the screen button again, it comes up with three dials, an outside temperature gauge, a Bentley compass, and a stopwatch. And moving on to the comfort, we have a heated steering wheel. We have heated and ventilated seats, both for the driver and passenger. And if I draw your attention to this rotating dial, it has an integrated screen, which you can control your automatic climate control. And if you push it in, it controls your fan speed. You have an endless selection of 
lumbar support settings, seat adjustment settings, and if I just push the button on the side, it brings up the massage settings, which also includes an endless array of options for your massage position. So we know this is the ultimate Grand Tour for comfort, however, is it still practical? Well, we have a large size glove box with a CD changer and SD card slots. We have a little storage compartment with two USB ports, an auxiliary and a 12 volt socket. Down here we have two cup holders and on the doors large pockets for just any items you want to keep out of sight and for my mobile phone just pockets just hidden away on the side there which is quite useful. And the infotainment it's a 12.3 inch display similar system to the Porsche Panamera. It does have a higher resolution it is easy to navigate around. You also have assistance features like Bentley Safeguard, the automatic braking, adaptive cruise control, blind spot assist, intelligent coasting, a heads up display just on your windscreen there. You also have night vision so in the center of the screen you have a night vision camera making it easier to see on those really dark roads in the countryside. And if I push that button that's the automatic parking so the car can automatically park itself into a space. I also have a 360 camera so I can change the angles for example, I can put it on the side view if I don't want to curve my wheels or look at my front camera to look more closely to the front of the car. And if I push this button here, I can raise the suspension in case I'm going over a steep hill on a driveway. In terms of the driving dynamics, you have a sports button which opens up the exhaust, gives it a more firm ride and a sportier steering feel. Comfort for more comfortable driving, it softens the suspension and softens the steering wheel. Moving on to the center screen, it is a classical layout, however it is quite modern because it is a digital instrument cluster, very similar to Audi's virtual cockpit. But I like how they've still got chrome surrounds, it still looks very classical and elegant, but they've still kept the interior quite modern. Okay, to get into the back seats, we just pull this lever and the seat moves forward automatically. Getting inside is a little bit of a tight squeeze with all coupes. Now Bentley say this is a two-door coupe. You can fit four passengers in great comfort. However, that's not the case if your passengers are quite tall. I've got just a little bit of headroom, toe room's a little bit squashy. However, knee room's okay, but this is a car more suited for occasional use or if you have small children. However, it is still luxurious and comfortable back here. Every Thing you touch is all wrapped in hand stitch leather, the quilted effect and the ambient lighting, the metal bits. I've got two cup holders with two USB ports and a 12 volt socket and at the back here a ski hatch as this is an all-wheel drive Bentley uh, which you can take to the snow so you can fit skis at the back here. Moving on to boot space if I just push the Bentley logo the boot automatically opens revealing 358 liters of boot capacity it doesn't really have a wide opening however you can fit two golf clubs maybe two large size suitcases or maybe your bentley trickle charger or the bentley car cover and to close it we just push that button and the boot closes automatically now this is bentley's w12 engine it is a six liter twin turbocharged v12 engine it produces 467 kilowatts of power and 900 newt meters of torque, all pulled along by an eight-speed Porsche PDK dual clutch system, sending torque to all four wheels, and it has a claimed zero to 100 time of 3.8 seconds and a top speed of 333 kilometers per hour. And the engine itself is very sophisticated. It can deactivate half its cylinders, running on six cylinders to achieve maximum fuel economy. It also sits on air suspension, which you can electronically control with the drive settings in the infotainment. And Bentley claims it combines an average fuel economy. And Bentley claims a combined average fuel economy of 14 litres per 100 kilometres. So what do I think overall about the Continental GT? Well, I know it's a bespoke, tailor-made car and you can personalize it to whatever you want, but I don't think there's any car like this that offers the German engineering with the British build quality. Yes, there is the Aston Martin DB11, 
However, that model's getting a little bit old now and it's still a little bit flawed in some areas, whereas the Bentley Continental does everything right. It is one of the best GT cars in the world.